Recently, I'm getting asked this question too often during podcast interviews and other virtual events. What do you think about what Jimmy O. Yang said about you in the Joe Rogan Show? Hi, this is William Hong, and I've been a motivational speaker and an entertainer for the last 16 years. And you probably know me from American Idol as the She Bangs Guy. Seriously, let's talk about what they said that stood out. Jim Rogan says that I'm mentally challenged. And Jimmy O. Yang said, I setting back Asians 10 years for the entertainment industry. Both of these statements I strongly disagree with. And the part about me being mentally challenged is 100% wrong. So Joe, let me, let me tell you how I look at my American Idol audition experience and why I, why I chose to move forward in the entertainment industry, even though I knew that I don't have the best singing talent. Back in 2004, when Fox broadcasted my audition, I got hundreds of emails, and at the same time, I already saw people selling bobblehead dolls and t-shirts using my image and likeness without my permission. Also, one of my fans created a website called williamhung.net that got over 8 million hits. So from uh, so from an e- economic standpoint, I believe it's wrong for people to be able to make money from me without me getting compensated. But it's not obviously not just about the money. Another thing that you might not know is that during that time, somebody wrote an article saying how William Hung committed suicide due to heroin overdose. I know whoever wrote that article meant it as a host or a joke, but I don't think it's funny at all. I felt that that article was what gave me the fire to stand up for myself. Because back then, there's no YouTube, there's no Facebook. The only way for me to share my version of my story was to take on the entertainment uh, business, to accept the record contract. Because that way, I get to show up for TV interviews. I get to share my voice with my audience. Do you still think I'm mentally challenged after you hear this explanation? Let me know. And Jimmy, about your statement, how I stepped back the Asian entertainment industry 10 years, I disagree. That's not right. You see, I understand where you might be coming from because you're not the only person who believes that I portray Asian stereotypes. Now, you're probably thinking, if, you know, if I know that American Idol was taking advantage of me and, and my image, why do I still pursue the entertainment industry anyway? I already shared my why when I explained my reasoning to, to challenge uh, Joe Rogan's statement how I'm mentally challenged. But, re- the, but here's another thing I look, uh, here's another thing. I will never apologize for my American Idol audition because I believe everyone has a right to try something new without being judged or ridiculed. Imagine if everyone will only conform to the, the society standards or our parents' expectations to be engineers, doctors, and lawyers. Would we be able to make the same progress today? Someone had to step up and fail forward in order for us to make progress in all these wonderful new industries, whether it's entertainment, gaming, 
or other creative careers. So I strongly disagree with your statement how my audition on American Idol set us back 10 years for the entertainment industry. I'm saying everything with a lot of love, from a place of calm, and from a place of standing strong. I don't believe in making other people feel small to make myself taller. I hope you understand that. And I wish you the very best.